all right guys so uh the last time we were in this particular stage where we have we got the selected opportunities and and we now we are going to configure this particular edit block for us right so if i going to view the data json we see that selected contact is a node under which i am going to get all these accounts right so now what i can do is i'll go to design and i'll try to create an edit block so edit block is something uh, provided by omniscript in which you can create edit add um, or delete new con uh, uh, contacts or any any particular salesforce records so i know that i from the integration procedure i was getting the node selected contact right so for the selected contact node i'll rename it to selected contact the level is i'll write select contacts i'll let the user to choose the contacts okay so there is something allow new edit delete and there is also something allow clear and there is labels and uh, this is not sufficient for us we also need to show these fields right uh, like last name first name email phone right and there should be also something contact id that we are missing here maybe let's create one now i'll write id okay so is there something here right contact id i'll write contact colon contact id right so i'm um, let's directly preview it here if you are able to get it or not okay all right so we are also getting the contact id here as well right let's configure this so what i'm gonna do is i'll create multiple text okay so if, if you see you are not able to drag into it right if you see some problem like this what i suggest it does you zoom your screen little bit okay then try to drag it into it okay so text uh, i'm not uh, gonna confuse it so i'll just map as it is so i'll write contact first name and i'll say that this is first name and I'll again one other one then i'll name it as contact last name and i'll call contact last name so rename it to last name right and there is something else let me see what else i was getting i was getting email right Mm, is there some field called email okay there is an input for email as well okay it again gave me same issue let me drag into here i'll write contact email and it is email and let me also i want phone right so telephone the telephone name should be contact phone I'll rename it okay so there are four fields but but we also need to configure this edit block so that it will show these four fields but before that we also need the account id uh, and contact id as well right so let me select for the contact id i'll, I'll make a text field i'll write is contact id and now i want this account id as well let's do let's try another thing as well so i'll write account id i'll write account id 
and by default i am gonna fill it with context id i'll tell you why because uh, when you, when you are going to prefill it is okay but when you are creating a new contact it it uh, needs account id right so i am gonna give it context id the default value is context id now since i have all these fields i will also trying to display all these fields right so i'll say maximum number of display say first name last name email and phone let me write four and it should be account id as well now i said four fields display uh repeat settings i'm not gonna okay this is not the correct one so here and edit block mode there are multiple modes let's try with the card and elements if you see what are the elements i am gonna say that only show these elements okay uh on the card if we are gonna edit it we will be able to select it uh see the contact id and account id as well okay so let's quickly do one thing and let's preview it to see if we are able to see the uh, cards or not okay so if you see in the selected contact we are not able to get the data so let's figure out why let me try if you if you have a typo or something else no it's still not doing let let me rename it to something else i'll deactivate it i'll i'll also name it step one to see if i am able to see it or not so let me see what is the name i think it is step one right step one and selected contacts so let's do one thing okay that's fine let's report some charts since there are multiple contacts i'll rename it to selected contacts right so for that i let us selected contacts and let's preview it again okay inside step one there is selected contacts and inside selected contacts i have all the data okay so i'll activate it this time and i'll i'll come here and i'll try to preview it and now i am able to successfully see these contacts so our configuration is okay but what if we see if i am gonna delete it it should be deleted and if i gonna edit it it should be edited and there are two more things you see contact id and account id this field should not be visible because ids are case uh, sensitive informations right so let's do that here as well so let me see okay let me try to edit it and for this contact id i can do this phone okay contact id if you want to hide it there is something called edit properties adjacent and there is some property called hide right and i'll make it to true and for this one i'll also make it to true so that the value will be hidden from the screen right now the say the next thing is that when i configure the selected contacts right if you see on click of new we should be able to create a new contact so for that there is also something called a subject mapping right i'll select the a subject as contact okay and for the first name i can map first name and i'll save a new for the last name i'll map where it is 
last name i'll click save and new and then for email i'll map email save and new then for phone uh, where is the phone field m n o p it is there and most importantly for contact id i'll make this as duplicate key and i'll select the id and for the account id right account id i'll select this as account id and i'll click save but still this is not sufficient right we are gonna configure the edit and new actions as well so to do that let's see that uh, omni script edit block okay so if i uh, come to here this particular salesforce article it will uh, it will show you how we can do that to do that let me it's it's basically done using the remote actions right so let it load but but i'll tell you what it is so we have to basically configure three remote actions for add edit and delete right so for this remote action say i'll say edit block new right and i'll change the level to new and adding global action so there is something if you see add edit and delete records with edit block actions so it is also provided by omniscript out of the box let me see let me click on this okay so it says that these class are there and these methods are there you just need to mention them so i will do the same thing i will come to this new and there is something called remote properties i will paste this and i will name that okay this is new and i will do the same again i'll do one thing i'll name it to edit block edit and i'll also say that edit and in the remote properties instead of new i'll click on edit okay and for delete i'll also write delete delete and for here i'll write delete okay now the next thing is that how how can we test this if this is working fine or not let's click on preview and i have my acme account here and into the account there are multiple contact let me see them as well so let me try to first add a new contact right when i say add a new contact uh, if you see there is no account id but we, if you remember we have configured something called uh, default value right so if you see this default value is still present on here and also there is something some issue with this phone field i don't know this is not uh, pre populating okay so for now we can do one thing uh, let's go to here let's try if we are able to get this star put data type to something number let me try with number data type and let's see we able to pre populate it or not okay this i think this is not correct but let me try once why this phone field is not coming i think all of them has phone but it is coming as null contact phone okay so this does not work i'll remove as it is contact phone is there okay fine let's uh, as you can do one thing with for the phone field there is something mask minimum length let's do let's do one thing 
let's make the phone number email text for now we can also use regular expressions to use the uh, configure this but let's see if phone is populating or not i'll click on okay now the fields are getting populated the phone fields okay uh, that's one thing but let's try if i am able to create a new contact or not i'll say john and the last name should be smith i'll give some contact and i'll write some email i don't think i have duplicate check but let me try i think john smith has already been added so let me go to this contact john smith should be visible so there are nine items currently i should be able to see 10 okay so where is okay there is this john smith so now let me go to the data json to see if john smith okay if you see it has the contact id also populated so if you want to delete it i can also be should be able to delete it i have deleted it so now this 10 contact should be changed to 9 okay so it already deleted it okay so i am gonna edit this contact i am gonna change it to john smith I'm gonna give phone number and I'm gonna give an email. Okay, so let's see if this John Jenna has been changed to John Smith or not. It actually did. The email has been there and it is also there. There is no title, that's fine. Mm, I think we don't have title field here okay so this in this way we see this this edit block is also coming so now if you come here i we have something called we are selecting these contacts right we should be able to select these contacts and deselect so how do we achieve this okay so this is very very simple thing so what we can do is that we have to uh see in add a checkbox here let me add a checkbox here i'll say uh, selected selected and i'll also mark this to selected so for now to for your visibility purpose i am making it as a read only you don't need to interact with it but but if i go to here in the edit per configuration if you see there should be something called checkbox element name right and in the checkbox element name i'll write selected and in the select mode singular multi if i say multi i can see multiple i can select multiple contacts and if i select single i will be able to sing, uh, select single contact only so let's try this as well clear the locks so finally we have the, our contact here and i uh, personally like the new port design so let me try with this to see how the cards are looking okay so this is the new port design i'll click this action debugger so these are the contacts so if you see i am able to select all these contacts so and i should be also able to select the starter uh, opportunity so i think that's all for now we have configured uh, figured out this lookup and edit block and the next section uh, we are going to do something like that we will uh, add all these contacts into the opportunities under something called as contact roles opportunity contact role in which we will be able to see these contacts right so in the next video we will be uh, achieving that functionality as well so thanks thank you for watching and if you have any comments uh, or any suggestions or any questions please write it down in the comments